Hi, I'm Wade. And I'm Lorraine. And we are On, on the, the Off Ramp. Ramp. And in today's video, we say goodbye to Alvin and Val. And rather, rather than saying goodbye, we'd like to say, well, we'll see you again. That's right. And we probably will. Yeah. Today, we make our way west towards Tampa. Stick with us to see how we handle five days of dry camping. That seems like a long spell for us. First, camping at... Uh, camping at Juniper Springs. Springs. And then uh, three days of boondocking. Uh, through a Harvest Host connection uh, at Tarpon Spring. You're not going to believe where we spent those three nights. I'm not sure if you'd stay there. Yeah. And keep watching to see if the jackery we purchased was worth the investment. We want you to know it's always worth it to stop at a visitor center. Today's video will show you what happens when you check out the visitor center and you manage to catch in on some local information and local events. So thanks for joining Ding. us today. Please take the time to subscribe. It helps us grow our channel. Yeah. Leave a comment and give us a thumbs up. We appreciate that. In our next few videos, you're gonna get to see Alvin and Val, our guests, as they traveled with us uh, in their indie rental camper on our way and throughout Florida. Hi, I'm Al. And I'm Val. And, and we're we with, with Wade, Wade and Lorraine, Lorraine on, on the, the off ramp. ramp. Well, we ended up with another beautiful campsite, this time in uh, Juniper Springs Recreation Area. It's a national park. And uh, beautiful sights. It's like we're in the jungle. We're in the tropics. In fact, this bay is called the Tropic Bay. Juniper Springs and heading out to see the water. The guys went out on the bikes to see what it was all about and convinced Val and I that we would like to come to the springs. So we've had our lunch and we're heading over to check out the water and be in the springs. It looks like lots of maintenance is being done on this place and so we're just keeping on avoiding the orange pylons and trying to find a place to park our wagon and park our chairs. This is the pool we're going to go swimming in. This is the sunny spot that people are enjoying. I've made it to the other side and I'm just showing you a little bit of what this is. It's a big park, a couple of picnic areas, lots of areas that are roped off and being worked on. But we get to come in here and step in, in these stairs and into these springs. Imagine in season it must get pretty crowded here. I feel like we've got it pretty much to ourselves. How fun is this? Come join us. So what's the temperature of this water supposed to be? Room. Room. <laughs> that's Wade's answer for everything. Everything's room temperature. Whatever room you're in, that's the temperature. So we're going to go in and check this out. to Wade and Val who's got her toes in over there this water is not hot so it's not a hot spring and there he goes oh, but it's refreshing. I think how great these would be in a Manitoba park these kind of cooking spots or fireplace spots take a look at that Some more picnic areas over there and it looks like this shelter is closed it's not that far from where the spring is pretty neat park setup <laughs> and we've jumped in the water and cooled off and heading back 
to our campsite to enjoy some burgers on a coal fire. What a gorgeous campsite, like it's a camping in a jungle. Ah, she's, she's got her coffee, good thing. This is the day Alvin and Val leave. Is that top coffee? Yes. Oh. Yeah. But it's... I'm sad. Oh, yeah, I'm sad too. Yeah. <laughs> and her fridge is empty. It's getting there. Almost. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, there might be something in that freezer. Ice cubes, there. probably. Oh, two ice cream bars. Oh! Guess who gets them? I guess we yeah. get the ice cream <laughs> bars, Wade. We better... Uh... Except let's not take them out yet. No, 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 no. And a bag of and Alvin's out there sorting things out. They return this van today and then they fly back to Canada to their home. And look what we get, a wagon full of their leftovers, of their stuff. And I don't know if this is allowed in our van. Oh, gotta get this. But we get a lot of these. I told Wade I'd drink them and then I'd leave his Coke alone. So of course, you know, they're feud between Pepsi and Coke, so. So they're working hard and we are here to say goodbye. Well, we're saying bye to Alvin and Val. They've been with us for the last uh, two weeks and we have had the best time camping in a long time. It's been so good to have them with us. But sadly, they have to go back home to British Columbia. And off they go. And off they go. Love See ya. Get the wagon there. So, from our experience, we're feeling like the Jackery has been worth it. This is the first time we've pulled out the what are these called? The solar panels, and they're working, right? Yeah, we're charging at fifty. <coughs> 53, oh, 60 some watts per, it's charging at 68 watts and we're using 49 watts, so. Yeah, we're headed through Jackson Road. Yeah, so Wade's working on doing our videos and keeping his computer alive, keeping it charged in the it's meantime. It's working quite well, actually. Yeah, so it's been worth the investment as well, right? Uh -huh. As long as the sun is out, it's working, it's really charging well. But even in terms of your CPAP, it's given you exactly what you were hoping, correct? Yeah, if that's all I used it for, I could probably get 10 nights out of it for sure. Now, Wade CPAP doesn't use, he doesn't, you don't use a humidifier. No. So. Yeah. You're in Florida, we don't need a humidifier. No, no kidding. So, yeah, so far so good. We're heading out for some more boondocking at a Harvest House site. So it's nice being in a national park. I can fill up with water. And uh, then we should be set for another three days again. Well, we're doing some uh, boondocking in the Tarpon Springs area. <laughs> and uh, we found this through Harvest Site and Boondockers Welcome. And there's a few of us that are camped here now. There's a couple that way. And then our lovely background. <laughs> And uh, there was somebody here a little bit earlier, they pulled out already, but then further down we have some more people camped as well. But hey, we can park here for three nights. It's free, we can wander around, and it's a very quiet street. And there's lots of others around, so our stuff is protected as well too. So Wade and I are staying at a Harvest Host again, and this one just so happens to be a towing company. And we park on the road outside his fence or on the other side of his property in the sunshine. <laughs> this is our setup. This is our uh, the fence and there's our bikes locked up, our bins. We're going to use our orange pylons to define our camping space. We're going to go off and do some errands and hopefully when we come back all of this stuff is here. Now apparently there's a few RVs behind us that are camped on the road here. There's one that pulled in just in front of us. And that you see beside the fence is a stack of cars. I'm just hoping they don't fall down on us. On this waterfront drive here in Tarpon Springs, and what we have learned is that 
lots of tour shops, but also Tarpon Springs, what, known for Greek cu Greek culture? So Greek wine shop right over there. And sponges. And yeah, sea sponges. They harvest sea sponges here. So those are two things we've learned. But we're heading off to a place called Sunset Beach, right? Yeah. Sunset Beach, so. This was fun just Take walking the next this, right onto North Pinellas Avenue. Walking this street and checking out all the shops. downtown Tampa Bay near the Amelie Arena and on Water Street and there is a large market going on. But oh, we gotta wait, Larry. <laughs> You're walking too soon. Big knuckles, I would. <laughs> well, he would. The okay, so on the pickle side, all I have is just these four pickles here. Okay. Okay, I have, that's now fine. Now I have my dill pickle, and I just put some dill pickle mustard on it. Oh. The dill pickle mustard really... Okay, okay. Oh, good. Exactly. Oh, good. Hi, Meredith. Hey. Do you ever meet my son? No, but I do. And when I have him back here, look at me. He looks just like me. Don't they own the dill pickle mustard? Yep. Yep. And are these like absolutely fabulous on sandwiches? Oh, That's yeah. what you just tried. Okay, then I'm taking it. There, now I have that in a spicy option. No. No? Great. Why don't you leave that one on the dill? And about 20 miles past that, you would reach the Gulf of Mexico. This is brackish water, which is a mixture between salt water and fresh water. So you may see some Atlantic bottomless dolphins. Now, did we have anyone getting off at stop number 12 for some work? Yes. You can go ahead and be seated. We're not there quite yet. Just making sure. Thank you so much. Attention is the sculpture on the forefront of the park, named the Form of Wander. The form of wander is made up of 3,123 pieces of aluminum and is made to showcase what our mangroves look like turned upside down to showcase their intricate basket weaving life structure. Now journeying up and down this river, you may notice you're not getting bit by any critters, namely our state bird, the mosquito, and that is thanks to the residents under the Laurel Street Bridge. Of course, I'm talking about over 2,000 Mexican retail bats. Now these bats are completely harmless. They will not fly and get tangled in your hand. They will not give you rabies. They're about the size of a golf ball. And they're the fastest mammal on the planet. They can fly in a straight line of speeds up to 100 miles per hour. They're
city is covered with these. It's you. <laughs> We really packed a lot into five days and our boondocking site was quite convenient and it was a place to stay as we explored the area. We really quite liked it. And we did feel safe. Yes. It was good having other campers there. Uh, we had our bicycles locked to a tree and we have a very heavy duty motorcycle chain. So And our and our cute little orange pylons stayed right there. Yeah, and our <laughs> orange pylons and our mat and everything stayed there. It was quite nice. And it was President's Day weekend, so it was a very quiet weekend. And what we yeah, and what you didn't see in this video is we also added some time at the beach. That's right. We made stops at two different beaches. We were at uh, Howard Park Beach and at, what was the name of the other one? Oh yeah, Sunset Beach, of course. And, <laughs> and it was gorgeous. Thanks for joining us again, and we appreciate your visit to our channel. Hit the bell for, to get other notifications and uh, leave a comment again. Join us for our next video as we continue to explore Florida.